Hello everyone and welcome back to Farming Simulator 22. We're back here on Elm Creek with Grover Games. Um, last episode, we if you haven't seen it yet, we picked up a new purchase. That was on, on for, we picked up a round, a 560M John Deere round baler that was for sale on a, on the discounted market. It's one of those computer mods I found on the Farming Simulator 22 website. I can't remember who made it. I'll, I'll have to touch base on it maybe maybe next episode or so about who made it and where I got it from. But yeah, it's normally like $80,000. We got it for 30 and when I, I took a second to kind of do a rough estimate of how much money it would take for us to buy all the paint equipment we need. So this rake, a uh, wind, ro uh, wind rower or mower to get everything going so that way and then how much a sheep barn, like a medium-sized sheep barn would cost us, cost us, and it turns out we have almost enough money, so I picked up these two contracts. I'm hoping this grass contract will end up helping us in the long run. I'm going to wait for him because he's just going to ruin my win row here. And then we got a, a con bleh, harvest contract going on here, and we're going to get a little bit of money back from that. We're going to end up selling everything. Thing. Uh, we'll get rid of this guy and just do it ourselves and finish it out. So yeah, as of right now, that's the plan. We're going to finish this baling contract. Hopefully we have quite a few grass bales left over. And then when we get done, we're going to go through and buy our own mower and rake. So that way we can go back to where our little like field 44 was in our yard that we kind of have our chicken barn set up on. We're going to go back there mow all that grass. We're going to mow all the grass around our fields too. And then we're going to go about go and rake all those up and bale it bale it up so we have feed for our sheep and then we're going to get as much sheep as we feasibly can in without making us go broke because we still got to think of operating costs for electricity and such like that. So we'll jump into the time lapse here when we get everything all wrapped up here. We'll We'll sit down and go through all the, the few pieces of equipment we'll be buying, buying out, and then we'll go from there. So we'll see you guys in a bit.
All right, so we got all our contracts done. Um, the next step is figuring out what is going to be the best mower option for us. I was looking at rakes. I was thinking of getting the rake like we would just use, but then I also thought that we could save a little more money. They, Chuck was telling me they had this old New Holland roller, roller bar rake. Which is actually something I've used in real life before. $500, that's a pretty dirt cheap rake. But on the other hand, I kind of want to... Kind of want to get that 8.4 meters. For side raking. But um, first things first, let's figure out what kind of mower to get. Because he gave me a few options. He said if we went with this HX20, we could at least start mulching our fields. Which doesn't sound like a bad idea, but mulching's not a very big thing around here. At least, I guess they use chopping heads and such. He said we could also get this little grass mower here. Which wouldn't be a bad option for 2100. But I kind of want to stick with something that... Like I kind of, I think we're gonna just gonna go with the coon one because that way, if we, if we do decide to go bigger, or when we decide to get more cattle and stuff, we could just buy a front mount, the front mount part, and get a little more coverage. And I think that's the same way I'm thinking with the wind rollers is that. Well, we don't really need a big wind roller right away either. We could just go with an old roll bar one, roll a bar one, or yeah, because might be smarter to go with the with one of these. I think this is what we had was a left to a right to left one, a two fifty eight. Think exactly like this. Um, roll bar. Um, because we w definitely won't have enough money to invest into all the sheep. So, $500 on a rake till we can get enough money is not a bad deal. Yeah, I'm gonna, that's what we're going to do. So, we'll come back and pick that stuff up. Pick that stuff up at the end of the day. You know, I should have just bought the front mount mower first. That makes more sense. Because then I could have pulled the rake and side raked it into the... Well, maybe I can talk with Chuck here. Yeah, you know what? We'll get this dropped off. I'll go inside and talk with Chuck since we haven't even gotten it off the lot. See if he'll... Oh, let me get the front mount mower because that makes a lot more sense, especially with the. Then we can just rake, cut and rake all at once. Yeah, that's what we'll do. We'll we'll get we'll go inside and talk to Chuck, see if he'll give us a full refund, and that'll save us a little bit more money too. Yet, um, we're gonna start running out of space where to put equipment too. I just realized that. I wonder. This baler. I mean, the, the loader can sit outside, worst case scenario. I think this baler is just woofed a little bit too wide for this. Uh, it's good enough. I mean, it's inside and so um, we'll head on back. We'll take the loader off for now too. We'll just start. We'll just leave it outside over here from now on. Cause we'll probably be we'll be using it a little bit more too. But yeah, we'll do. Ah, uh, dang it! I keep forgetting that driveway's gone. I I used it a lot more than I realized, and I for, left the lights on the truck, but it should be fine yet. 
But yeah, we'll we'll go inside, talk to Chuck, and see if he'll he'll work with us. I'm sure he will. He's been a really good sa raid salesman so far. So we'll do a little cutaway, and we'll we'll see what he says, and we'll be back in a bit. All right. So talking to Chuck, he was able to give us back the money we spent on spent on the. And uh, behind mower, and he, he said it did make more sense, so he was pretty understanding. So we got our front mower bot now, which said us about oh 9,500 back. So, and I think it's gonna, I think it's gonna work out a little bit nicer, but we'll see. Hopefully, it's not too wide for the rake. We'll we'll give it a test run here quick, because I would like to get get our grass cut and bailed before. The, we end the day, so we'll see how this goes here. Kind of weird thing to think about, a little old rake like this on something so modern, and then up front, just the front mount mower. It's quite a sight to see. But the other thing too, this is one of those another PC mods. Uh, I can't remember who made it. I think I want to say it's tire tired iron modding, but I do not know for sure. I think that's the right person, but I could be completely and utterly wrong. Okay, I was like, why aren't you lowering? Okay, the wheel rake lowered though. Look at that, it works. Working out perfectly. Sometimes budget farming is the best thing you can do at, at, at the time like this, because we'll have $30,000 left and, oh. Did we get too far out of whack here? Where the game says that's no longer a property? It looks like it. Uh, we'll get this figured out here. Gotta stay a little bit over. There we go. I'll do another pass down, make sure we get the most we can. See how it goes around turns. That's kind of awkward. We'll just have a little bit of a little bit lean when we go around like that, but that's fine. Not the biggest deal in the world. I don't think we'll get a whole lot off it, but you know, we gotta make do with what we got for this first season and then if we need to, I can always plant a grass field, but I'm hoping not. I'm hoping that we could get away with just skimming off the top of doing something like this and maybe once in a while doing a helping one of our neighbors neighbors out with their bailing cot bailing. This is working out pretty nice. This is working out a little bit nicer than I thought it would. Like I said, it's probably quite a sight to see for something for modern for modern times and oh, there we go. The rake up. But yeah, we'll jump back into another time lapse here. We'll finish this out. And then this will probably be it for the season. When you come back, we'll have the barn put up. And we'll probably be back in March or April again. Because next month is December. And I don't have really anything much else going on. So we'll see you guys at the end of the time lapse. And we'll go back over everything. <laughs> 